Okay, May 25th, I'm, uh, I'm at a park near uh, Sarnia, and I brought my uh, new buddy. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't tried him before, I haven't followed me. Okay, first find of the day. Uh, 1937 Wheat Penny, very good shape. It was about uh, six inches deep. Kind of hard to dig with my little puppy. He seems to want to go in the hole before I get there. Okay, um, and I just uh, dug up what looks like to be a silver coin. It's covered. There's a lot of ants running around it. And I haven't pulled it out yet, but uh, it really looks like a dime. And young queen, and let's see what the date is. Uh, I really can't tell. I'll have to get my loop okay. out. Okay. Uh, in a hole about, uh, let's say, about four inches. Pulling out a, looks like an all metal toy car. Looks pretty old. So, uh, needs a good cleanup and add it to the collection. <laughs> well, another deep penny. Uh, it's a 1964 with a young queen on it. Um, pretty nice. Good shape. So uh, I'll take it. And no pennies, no penny. Okay, second silver of the day, and I was just about to quit. So I'm pretty close to my car. At first, I wasn't sure, and I said, "Yeah, 1965." So, and it wasn't that deep, maybe uh, four inches, which is nice. And uh, there's my helper today. He's been following me. He's shaking now. I don't know why. <laughs> The puppy, three months old, he had his workout today. So uh, he was behind me and uh, trying to nap every time I'm drink, uh, digging a hole. So that's it for him, he had a good hunt. One of them is uh, two Roosevelt and one Canadian. And I got uh, 12 pennies and this medallion. It's a, um, it's a annual picnic award for Meso. So, for today, that was it. Uh, challenge to do that with the, the puppy. But, uh, it all worked out. So, uh, to the next time. Bye for now. Here we are, May 26th, Tuesday. Um, I just came back from the beach. I was going to go uh, detecting in the water, but unfortunately by the, by the time I had my wetsuit on, I broke my zipper. So I take it all off and come back, and uh, I'm back at the uh, park I was at yesterday. So hopefully I can uh, find myself something decent, and uh, we'll see you at the next first find. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Silver in a hole. Let's see what we got out of this one. And by the way, this is the second hole I dig since I got here. So basically, boom, right away. And it's a mercury dime. Uh, is there a year? Well, had a look. It looks like 1945. So I'm happy with that one. This single was nice, it was all over for uh, 442, 8, 842, uh, a little bit all over, so I'll dig it like.
found a spot. It's terrible. It's not, it was in the side. Well, let's see what it is. All that trouble, and it's a penny. And not even an old one at that. That's enough well, for this one. I decided to take the camera off the stand. I was digging underneath this large root, and something white came out, and I'm assuming it's going to be another silver. And, oh, I just dropped it. It's still stuck on the, on the, the ground. And, let's see, it's Canadian. And, and it's a young queen. Let's see what date that is. I will need my glasses. And turns out to be 1961. So second silver of the day. I'm thrilled. This is what all, it's all about. There you go. Another big root to uh, deal with. It was a major pain just to get underneath it. And turned out it's a 1957 wheat penny. Okay, and the wrap up for today. Uh, well, as soon as I got to that park, I pulled that 1943, which is not 45, it's a 43 Merc. As soon as I got there, second hole. Then shortly after, I pulled a 61 uh, silver dime. I got uh, two uh, wheats, uh, 58 and 57, and one Canadian 1962 penny. Uh, a bunch of other pennies, a regular clad few pull tabs and a padlock so um, all in all can't go wrong as soon as you hit silver can't go wrong so that's it for now thanks for watching see you in the next